Hi, my name is Yap Wisi. I took diploma in architecture. Uh, I think architecture is the learning of combination of uh, art and science to design a building that's for humans. So in IUKL, uh, the course for architecture, I think is very, um, very, have a lot of variation. For example, like we learn about the uh, study structures, mathematics, and also like uh, studio courses, physical course like uh, studio design. So I think it really helps me to become like an all-rounder in learning architecture because I learned to, I learned the engineering part and also the uh, aesthetic as an architecture student so and I think uh, studio design it requires us to uh, be be very uh, sorry <laughs> again just start again okay so I think studio design allows me to uh, be very open to be very open to challenges. For example, I, I need to learn teamwork and I need to be independent to learn myself for researchers also. Yeah, so I think all these prepare myself to become better for the society in the future. So my experience was really good in IUKL, learning the uh, hands-on physical studio work. So basically, first we, when we uh, when we are given the project, we will first uh, know about the site given. So we need to be physically to the site, which is site visit, and we need to learn about the site analysis. Um, site analysis it requires us to have a lot of teamwork. Like we need to discuss the the information to be taken, and sometimes we need to t also speak to the local there. It, I think it helps me to be more uh, social, to speak with people. And also studio design, we need to have a lot of discussion with studio mates and lecturers and it makes me um, know how to communicate, interact more. For my for my opinion, I think I really uh, inspire. I really appreciate Petronas Twin Tower because like, I think compared to the other building these days, because I, for me, I think uh, normally other buildings is more like boxy, you know, like con like concrete and like a rectangular box. And for Petronas Twin Tower, I think the form itself is really interesting because. You can't see many um, like cylindrical shape of building these days, and also because of the material that the Petronas Twin Tower is using, because it uses the aluminium as the facade treatment. So compared to the others, like these days they only use glass and steel. So you know when the Petronas Twin Tower, you to see like the way they display is by using strong white light to shine to the building and the building reflects the white light so even at night it looks really um, shiny and while compared to the other um, building they use glass the only light that you can see from the building is the light from within so it's not really strong compared to the Petronas Twin Tower so I think it's really uh, it's really a good example. It's really a good example to study for architecture. Okay, I think um, one of the most common misconception about architecture is that people think that architecture needs a lot of mathematics. Actually, um, no, because even though we learn about mathematics, like structure, we learn ab uh, we learn about um, the formula to uh, to calculate the physics, and but 
uh, for me, it's not the main, it's not the main learning, and it's not the major, uh, major course that we need to master in. Or sorry, it's not. Uh, I think uh, the learning about the mathematics is. Uh, we just need to know how to uh, be logical about the mathematics but we don't have to be really precise in the calculation. So I think uh, in architecture, it doesn't require most uh, mathematics. It's mostly about the concern about human's comfort designing the space for human. I think the technology of in architecture these days is really uh, amazing because uh, because first the cost reduced because of the time that they spend is really less because the technology really uh, fastened the the construction progress and also the the quality control is really nice it's more safer compared to like the traditional method of building it because of the factory they have good high quality control so the building becomes safer so yeah so to get to the title AR first we need to uh, go through part one and part two and the final exam for LAM so for me I, for me, the, the path that I know is that first you need to go through, first I go through diploma because I already know what course that I want to take, which is uh, architecture, so I just directly take diploma. And then I take uh, credit transfer to IUKL degree. So it actually the credit transfer saves me time and the cost because they have the discount. So, and then uh, the next I will be taking master. The master is architecture part two. After graduate the part two master, I will study. Uh, I will work for one year at least. Then I will go for the exam. So after passing the exam, I will get the title AR. So before I choose IUKL, I search online from the internet. Actually, IUKL is one of the top best architecture university to study. And when I when I did the visit here before I uh, before I decide to come to study here, the fact that they have a whole building architecture block is really uh, that's the fact that makes me wanna study here because I think architecture we need a space for like architecture events and interactions. Um, I think architecture course here is really uh, nice because they allowed you to study the theory, which is like the mathematics and also learning the um, sustainability in environment. And we learn about the history of architecture and the most important part is that they have a lot of uh, studio design. So the studio design we have for every long semester and I think the studio design is really um, helpful for the architecture students if they want to study here because we learn a lot like the site study, the physical, the physical uh, study and sometimes we need to do model making and we need to uh, we can learn about how to communicate with lecturers and the studio mates. So it's not just architecture or like architecture and IUKL. Yeah, probably architecture and IUKL. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So um, I would suggest if people want to come to IUKL to study architecture, they should be prepared that there's a lot of um, face-to-face -face communication with lecturers because it's actually really helpful if you uh, want willing to talk face-to-face -face with lecturers because lecturers here are really helpful and they're always open to any face-to-face uh, -face discussion about your design 
and they really just want to help you out. So, and also I think that you really need to have a passion in architecture. If you just take these uh, subjects because people, what people told you to, better not because architecture is really a, a, a time consuming and it really needs effort and passion to study it. Yeah. So I think you need to be very sure of you want to take this.